morning, good afternoon, good day. Just a cup of coffee. A cup of coffee. It's Mass Man Reviews back again uh, with another video. <sighs> I hope you're doing well. And today, what we have is a great fragrance from the house of BDK Parfums. And this one is Tabac Rose. So, really nice sample box. Tabac Rose. And I was gonna get a full bottle of this. I still might, but I just wanted to share some of my thoughts. This is a beast. It's a beast mode fragrance. Um, I currently own another BDK uh, fragrance and I was kind of enamored by that fragrance uh, from the sample. Wasn't the best performing fragrance, but it smells fantastic. And actually, I'll probably have that as my scent of the day for today, just thinking about it. And that one is uh, Gris Charnel. Just an incredible fragrance. Um, and BDK has been kind of winning it um, lately. BDK is a subsidiary of Javoy Paris. So for those that know or don't know, Javoy Paris is the parent company to a lot of other fragrance houses. Um, I've just noticed that there are a lot of fragrances under the Javoy uh, company. And they just make incredible fragrances, but each of the houses kind of under Javoy have their own distinct uh, fragrances. So uh, Javoy has its own fragrances, BDK has their own, um, Chris Collin has his own, um, Byron has their own. Um, I believe also uh, Clive Christian is under them. So there's just a whole lot of fragrance houses that are under Javoy Paris. Um, and this is one of them, BDK. I, I did not know that until recently. This is a, just a, an incredible fragrance, the, the, the Tabac Rose, and um, it's it's a beast. It's a beast mode, beast mode fragrance. Um, there's no denying it. Uh, so far, just from the sample, uh, I've worn it multiple times. I could just tell that it lasts. It just keeps on going and going and going. So I have it on skin right now. What you initially get in that opening is a very sharp blast of the rose note, which has a bit of, of a tartness to it and a chocolate undertone. So very interesting rose fragrance in the sense that it is a gourmand rose. It is a very beautiful rose. It is something that anyone could wear. It's totally unisex, I would say. Just love the way that this fragrance smells, and it is, like I said, it's a beast. What is also, also nice and detectable is a bit of a plum note. So I don't have the list of, of all the notes in front of me, but I believe there are some resins in here. There's definitely that plum note. There's definitely the rose. There's definitely uh, a bit of uh, pepper, a bit of uh, citrus, probably uh, bergamot or lemon, uh, and tobacco, and maybe a hint of musk. So, and chocolate, my, my bad. Of course, the chocolate. The chocolate is ever present. And it, it's just sounds weird when, when you describe all these different notes kind of working um, in tandem together in conjunction with each other. But they, they, they are harmonious. As weird as it sounds, it's, an, it's a harmonious composition. I know that these notes sound like weird like together but it works it works really well and 
I was considering getting a full bottle. I'm still considering getting a full bottle. It's just that at this point right now, I'm just gonna enjoy my collection. Um, there are many fragrances that I have and I have yet to review. So hopefully I'll get to um, present those fragrances to you and tell you my thoughts about them at some point. But this one, it's just an incredible fragrance. There's nothing um, that I would say, from my opinion, is is uh, bad about this fragrance. Now, some people may be taken back by the fragrance. Um, it's not, to me, it, there is some uh, sweetness to it, but it is a very in-your-face fragrance. It's very uh, loud, I would say. And it's very in your face. It's it's one of those fragrances that projects really well. Um, incredible amount of uh, sillage as well. So you got the projection, you got the scent trail, and it lasts a very long time on skin. I'm, I'm talking about at least nine hours you're, you're gonna get on skin. Yeah, on clothing, probably get more than that as well, but it just, it, it kind of sticks to skin. So it's, it's something that doesn't just evaporate into the atmosphere. Like you spray it on and it's gone, or it's not detectable, that you become nose blind to certain fragrances. No, not this one. This one is present. If you don't smell this, then you probably have um, some type of problem with your nose because um, it, it's, it's it's just a very sharp fragrance. It's sharp. That's the best way I could describe this is as sharp. But again, like some people, oh, it's too sharp. It's it's really not too sharp. Um, the rose, if 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 you know about rose, rose is not really. A soft uh, fragrance. Uh, you know, people associate rose with that jammy um, grandma rose, but in reality, rose is very tart. It's very, uh, it could be very refreshing in some cases. And, I, and, and in this case, it, it, it's used in a refreshing way because there are other elements to this fragrance, like such as the, the um, plum note, such as the chocolate such as the even the tobacco is almost a sweeter tobacco so you have the rose and the citrus kind of balancing out those gourmand notes and it's really a gourmand fragrance and i, I would say it's wearable all year round i mean some people um, don't tend to like these heavier fragrances in the summer but i would say as long as you don't overdo it you're not going to choke yourself out who cares if anyone else is offended by it? Really, I just enjoy. You tell them, enjoy the fragrance. All right. Thank you for coming by. Thank you for watching this um, quick review. To me, it's it's a, a great fragrance. And if I smell this on, it, it, on anyone, I'm going to be like, wow, that is tobacco rose. It's, it's a very memorable fragrance. All right, take care of yourselves. I'm out until the next one.